This is David Stevens with FinWealth Builders, and today is Thursday, June 17th, 2021. And this is a smart uh, stock market analysis update for the, towards the end of this week. So hopefully you had a successful week of trading this week. And uh, just remember, tomorrow is the witching day. So what does that mean? Uh, we'll get into it. Um, so stay tuned, uh, as well as other updates on some uh, stock today. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe at FinWealth Live. And that way you can continue bringing these updates and Please like our videos if they provide value to you and uh, continue to provide feedback. And just remember, we're not financial advisors and what I'm showing you is what I'm watching and trading and, and uh, providing this out to you to hopefully help you to uh, help you in with your trading um, and to be successful. So, um, so the quad witching hour is basically, uh, the day is basically tomorrow. It's when all of the futures and option contracts all expire. So they got to renew them, sell them, roll them over, do something with them tomorrow every, across the board. So there's going to be a lot of movement tomorrow, a lot of money moving. Um, so just be aware of that. And uh, it could move the market up or down. Um, it, it could be flat, but um, you know there's going to be opportunity tomorrow is what I'm saying. And uh, just be careful on the swings. Uh, and uh, don't use them as a reaction to, to news, like to say, okay, the stock starts going down a little bit. It's, it's, it's not that the market's falling apart. Or if it skyrockets, um, it's not, if it's on low volume, it's not going to mean as much as if, it's a, if it was really a lot of volume. So just, just be careful out there. Um, so, um, you know, one of the things, you know, this kind of goes along with the, you talk about the witching hours and the um, options that are expiring tomorrow. This is AMC's option list. You can get this right off of Yahoo Finance if you're interested in ever looking at this, but this gives you a list of all the contracts um, and uh, on the watch list and shows you um, what's trading. So uh, the volume, the open interest, implied volatility, uh, last price, the bids on everything. So it's all listed in here. So you can dig through here. You can sort by the columns if you want to see what the you know, the volume of, of options are coming through here and what they're being offered at. Uh, this will give you a summary. So um, it's interesting. Uh, AMC is going to be interesting tomorrow. I am, I am all over this one um, this week and taking advantage of any types like uh, scalping I can do on it, um, but also just kind of keeping a, a close look. Uh, so be careful with this one. If you're in it, uh, definitely take profits because um, this could drop um, or we could have a short squeeze tomorrow. And uh, if people have to cover these options that they have out there, uh, yeah, prices could uh, skyrocket. We could uh, we could see some highs again. Um, but uh, don't be tr don't be fooled. Um, somebody could pull the carpet or the rug from underneath you, and they could drop. So uh, just be careful out there. Pray, watch the price action and follow it, and uh, that'll help to keep you safe. Uh, so uh, as far as earnings, so earnings t uh, tomorrow there's none. So just be aware of that. Um, so you don't have to worry about earnings um, out there and it can, it's going to continue to slow down. Uh, if you look at um, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, uh, you can see the Dow Jones was down 0.62%, the NASDAQ was up 0.87% and S&P 500 was um, down 0.04%. So pretty flat uh, for the most part. Everything was under 1% change plus or minus. Uh, you can see that the large companies here, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Google, basically um, Tesla, they were all up. So really good day for, for the, uh, the, the tech stocks. Let's see, energy was weak today. Industrials was weak. Financials were weak. We'll talk about that one as well. Uh, really need to watch the financials here. Um, and a lot of this was just a reaction to the feds uh, this week, I'm sure. So, um, and then as far as our, um, not the big movers. Uh, I, so I didn't really like trade. I, I traded what we already had on our list. Uh, that we, I've been tracking with the last few days and we've traded over the last this last week or two weeks. So that's where I spent my time. Uh, MTP came in, it's a new IPO, but um, yeah, I didn't do anything with it. Um, but I'll show it to you anyway, just so you're aware. Because uh, some of you may have taken advantage of this when you saw it pop up there. You can see that, uh, you know, it started up high, right? So it gapped right up to, you know, we're right, starting right up at 350 and then it just kind of tapered off. So you had a chance down here towards the bottom around 250. So about a buck, about a dollar. And then a ramp up of about 75 cents and then it dipped back down. And after that, it, I mean, it's pretty much consolidated and it's down here on this um, support line here. So 
Um, can it run tomorrow? I mean, it could possibly take off. So um, I'll watch it um, a couple of days, um, but not, not too impressed with it yet. Um, or pH, we've been tracking this one, we've been trading it. Um, I just want to show you too. Um, so you had an opportunity to run this. Uh, if you caught this in the morning, um, it started, it dipped down and it started to climb up here in pre-market. Uh, so it was down as low as 12.45, went up to 8, 18.45. So, you know, $6 move right here between pre-market and the high. And then it pulled back, gave you another chance to get in around 15, rocketed back up to 17, back down to 13, back up to, nine, to 16 almost, 15.50 back down to 4, 420. So, I mean, I didn't, I wish I would, I probably should have stayed, stayed on this all day long because I traded a few other stocks, but this one, I mean, you could have just traded just this one stock all day and got this run. And if you want to short it, you could got that run here. You could have got that run back on this one, back up the run and then up this run. This is after hours though, this section here, but you can see continued rally. Now these are lower highs, so keep that in mind. The, the big rallies might be over. Um, so, and, uh, and this is lower lows, but then this, you got, you got lower highs gonna come up here. So um, it, could, it could be just, a, this is more of a wedge right here. Um, and uh, so just be aware of that. So we could just be coming into a wedge. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm not gonna take a lot of time to do this right now, but just to give you a kind of a, just a, um, kind of a picture of, you know, what what that kind of looks like so so you see that it came up came down came up come down and then you know since it came from above most likely it could be dropping below right you can see it came down here typically it follows through on these and drops down again but if or ph has some good news or it's got some good catalyst um, you know it, it might um, come back down and then just break up to the top upside. So um, just watch it, watch when it breaks the line, it's either gonna break the, the resistance line here or a support line, imaginary line here um, and break down. And uh, that would be the shorting opportunity. If it breaks the line up here, that's like, that's up for going along. So um, just something to do. I mean, if you don't, haven't done much with charts, it's great to do a charting. It uh, just gives you a visual. And once you put the visual in, it's so much easier to kind of follow along, so. Uh, AMC is pretty well flat. Um, again, you know, if you if you want to talk about um, wedges, this is kind of creating a wedge here. So, you know, if I just take this and I put this up here, uh, and you look at this line here, you can see that uh, that you got this uh, ascending triangle right here. So, um, got to keep an eye on tomorrow. This, you know, with a squeeze, if this breaks out here. Um, and breaks this uh, the 61 level 62 it could hit go up to 72 and we could possibly go further tomorrow if we get in a squeeze so watch the price action watch the levels um, if it breaks above the um, this 72 62 this high right here um, it could go higher tomorrow um, and it falls through then we got lower numbers to, to be concerned about so definitely watching amc watching this price action um, just see what it does in the morning. If it's already broke through here, then, then just be watch out. Um, but you know, you do have the uh, the 100 down here for support. If it comes down here and touches this, it could get support. But uh, just watch this action before you actually make a trade. Um, RAPT, RAPT gave you a run, I gave you a, a nice little run today. Um, is you know, a, a dollar, dollar 50, could have got out of it. So um, you got that, then great, PRTY. Um, you know, it pulled up here and now it's come, come down and it's down below around $9 now. And um, for me, this I'm pretty much done with this one. Uh, it's below the 20 now. Um, there's probably others that we could chase and, and do a lot better on that we've covered. So um, it'll come off probably the end of this week. Um, so stocks under $10. AL, uh, ALF is, was on our um, list. That was one of, the, of our searches. You can see that you had opportunity here to to get these high these high peaks, but uh, today, uh, this is today here, and um, yeah, you could you could I guess you could have got a little bit here, but um, the range is you know within about a dollar dollar fifty, so not a lot of range on that one. Um, so, but you know, still still a still a good one to track. Um, TRCH, so TRCH, you know, here is the high, and then we have this little dip here. 
and then we have a high. So this is this is sometimes they'll call this a cup, or it'll, they call it a W. Now, if it's a cup, then it's going to come down here, and it's going to come down here low, and then come back up high, and and then look to break out, and that would be called a cup. Um, if there's a W and it can get up past resistance, then you can start to go north, and you can see that it, it's uh, stopped and found resistance here um, around 544. So we'll see if it can uh, pull down here and get some more energy to go north. Um, but uh, yeah, if you caught that, then you had a nice run um, today. Um, eyes, eyes, you can see that it's kind of, you know, gave you opportunities to scalp this, but it's on a downward trend. So just be careful of that. Um, and then uh, stocks 10 to 100 at Palantir. We, we, I told you this was on the list. This is probably gonna move and it did. So hopefully you got a, a piece of this. It didn't move a ton, but it moved enough. Um, so it's still gonna watch this one. Um, nice bullish movement. Everything's ab all the, it's above all the moving averages. So I, li I like this one so far. Um, workhorse, you know, we put Workhorse back on the, on the docket cause you know, it spiked up here. It showed it wanted to, to get in the game and then it just kind of paused. Um, so it's flat today. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, see if it can, maybe it wants to build the energy to break up. Hopefully that's the case and not break back down um, after putting in that uh, large breakup bar. Um, LI, LI, nice little spike up. So hopefully you got that, you get a couple dollars out of that. Um, AYX, uh, you got a little jump here, pulled back and then jumped right up here. So it's still trying to bust through this resistance here. So we can start to climb up to, towards 88 and then above 88. Um, towards uh, the hundred mark, but um, yeah, it, uh, it you know a lot of these stocks you could you know you could make money on every single one of these that's uh, on the list uh, if you traded them today. So um, so hopefully you hope you're taking advantage of that. Hopefully you're you know you're safe in your own trades and you're and you're making money. Um, so this is pets. This was uh, off of our list um, for a few, you know for a few days, and you can see that it pulled it pulled back, came down. Um, and you had a little bit of a lift here, but that's probably going to come off my list in the end of this week as well. 100 to 250. And Vax, you know, talked about this, how much I love this one. This one is like a Tesla. It gives you um, opportunities every day. So you see here in pre-market, if you caught this in pre-market, again, I told you about getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it, this was this was 5.30. So you could get up at 5.30 and got in this trade. Uh, but pre-market, I uh, can catch this at 180 and right all the way up to 184.40. And then the market opened up, it dropped back down, down to 180, and then back up to 184 almost. And then it dropped all the way back down here to 178, and then right back up to 181. And then it will drop back down to 178, and then back up to 180. So you can see, even though this is on a downward trend, you see, you still have opportunities to scalp this all the way down, or you could have just shorted this and wrote it all the way down on a short as well, um, or a put. So um, a few ways that you could trade at this one, um, but still still generating money up or down. We talked about AMC. AMC is looking really good on the, from a chart standpoint. Um, a is on our list. It, uh, it's continuing to do well. You know, we, we've had a nice run this whole week all the way up. So um, really, a, really a good stock. So hopefully you're taking advantage of that. Uh, and then EA is another one of our spinny stocks. Um, it pulled back and it's it's down below that uh, that 50. So this one's probably gonna come off my list. I think maybe unless it bounces off that 100, I think it's not going to. Because look at you can see here where it broke between uh, over the, under the 100 and under the 200 here and here. So it doesn't respect that 200 enough to to keep this on the list. So this will probably come off on Friday as well. Um, let's see. Oh, well, plus 250. Um, GameStop. GameStop is flat. Uh, crowd strike. Good. See, you got a nice, nice little spike there. Uh, you know, can't can't shake your uh, can't shake your head at ten dollars. That's uh, that's a good deal. Tesla. You know, they have it had a little bit too. So if you got to grab this, you can see it's trying to make it. It's got resistance right here, around that 1620 level. Got to break through that, um, but uh, but Tesla's looking good today. Uh, Twill looking good. She so killed it, killed it. Really did well and closed that gap. So we can just take that uh, gap right off here because that uh, 
it did, it did a good job here. I was trying to delete it. I'll delete later. Um, uh, Amazon, pff, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, eight candles. We closed that whole breakdown candle now. See that? You need to keep an eye on that. Remember that. When you have these big candles, a lot of times stock will come back and retrace that candle. So we're there and we're working our way up towards this new high of uh, 355.34 or 35.54. Um, just be careful here. Um, I think there is resistance here. This could pull back, at least retrace back 50% to 344, 3, 34.40. Um, uh, I think it will, but I could be wrong. It could just skyrocket the new highs tomorrow, but I think, I think it's gonna pull back a little bit. It's had a too long of a run. And you see that we had resting, a resting, resting. Every other day there's a resting. So it should be at least a resting day tomorrow, but it could be a pullback and a rest as well. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if it continues to trend the way it has been. A uh, Bitcoin and crypto. So uh, Bitcoin continues to, to pull back here. It continues to sit here um, trying to find a, a level of support and uh, energy to, to go north. Um, Ethereum, uh, you see right in this channel, it's pretty flat. Um, Cardano, uh, it's pulled back. So it's, it's again, it's just kind of fall along with the rest of them. And you can see the Doge is definitely flat. So we're just waiting for some price action or some movement or decisions to be made. Uh, so funds and indexes. So um, the dollar, look at this dollar. Holy cow. Man, it was around that 90 for a long time. And then look at this, it just skyrocketed up to 90, 91.50 almost, and then now up to almost 92. So it could keep climbing. Concern I have about the dollar going up is it could get to a point where um, the market might start to pull back. So with fear, so um, just keep an eye on that. Also the VIX is up. So um, it's still below uh, this 18 and 19 levels. So that's good, um, but it's getting up there close to 18. And once it gets through there, uh, we'll probably see some type of pullback a little bit in the market. It doesn't have to be a ton, but there's, um, you know, when the VIX is elevated, usually you're gonna see a pullback. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, but the witching hour tomorrow, it'd be a good excuse to pull the market back a little bit. So uh, then this is the SPY. So you can see they came down here and dipped right down to our support level here around uh, 419. And then it kind of pulled right back up and it found strength at the end of the day, just kind of rallied back up towards uh, 422. Um, but you can see we got these two long candle wicks right down here to 419.50. So definitely watch 419.50. If we break it, we can start to come down here to this next level to 418 and then down to 417 and down to 416. So just uh, let's be careful. Let's be mindful of, of what we're trading and how we're trading. And uh, if we do have a pullback that we're prepared for that. Triple Qs, man, that just uh, rose. Rocket ride. So look at that. Just last two days, just skyrocketed up. Got a new high. We got positive trending, very bullish. Um, so um, the Qs are looking great. Um, just be careful of a pullback. I mean, if, if uh, other indexes start rolling over, typically um, it's this amount of time before the spy and, and the NASDAQ is going to do the same thing. Uh, you can see a nice, nice uh, push here. I had this breakdown candle. We pushed all the way up almost through the whole entire stack of candles. So um, that's very bullish. Um, Dow Jones, look at this pullback. So it's really pulling back, and here's our next stop. Uh, we put this line in a few days ago, uh, 33, you know, 500 down here. So we'll see if that does that. Um, so just be careful, um, you know. And sometimes these are leading indicators. When you see a couple of indexes down, they start to pull down everything else, or they recover and they shoot back up. Uh, IWM, you see, IWM, IWM came down, touched the 50 and then ricochet back up towards the 20. So uh, it's good that it found support from the bulls down here, but uh, we gotta be careful. Uh, look at this volume, uh, large volume here. So um, just be careful out there because um, IWM is showing weakness now. Um, I don't like that at all. Uh, and then the financials pulled back as well. So now you got the financials pulling back. You got the, um, you got this, um, the uh, financials, you got the um, small caps, you got you got all those stocks. You got to be aware of that. Uh, you know, could be pulling back here, and uh, and that could drag down the spy and the triple Qs. Or 
you see you're seeing you know just the basically um, sector rotation where people pull money out of these indexes and throwing them into the uh, into the larger indexes, uh, the um, Nasdaq or the SPY. So uh, that's a possibility as well. Um, but be careful with these breakdown candles. It could break, you could find another breakup candle to go trace that, cancel it out. But for now, that it's there and it's there as a warning. So uh, just be aware. And hopefully you found this helpful. If uh, you like this, um, go ahead and please share it with others. And uh, good luck out there trading tomorrow. Be very careful. Uh, and um, we will uh, include and see you uh, through the weekend here.